The Office of the Commissioner of Charities is launching an indicator this coming January to show upfront how charities meet compliance standards. As Singapore's Culture, Community and Youth Minister Edwin Tong says that this is to promote greater transparency and accountability in the sector. This new indicator will provide information upfront on charities' profile pages on the charity portal. This in turn also allows our stakeholders, whether it's the donors, the public, to better understand charities' regulatory compliance at a glance. Mr Tong announced the new charities' compliance indicator at the Charity Transparency and Governance Awards. That's where 80 charities were recognised for commendable work. And for a start, the indicator will apply to institutions of a public character or organizations approved to receive tax-deductible donations. Our beneficiaries may soon find it easier to get interest-free loans from foundations, firms and agencies that fund charity work. The Commissioner of Charities is revising the rules governing these organizations to allow such a move, amongst others. The changes aim to turn Singapore into a regional philanthropy hub by attracting more local and international donors. Donors also have the latitude to spend on activities such as award ceremonies. The changes were announced by Culture, Community and Youth Minister Edwin Tong at a charity governance conference. An enhanced toolkit was also launched to help charities manage risks such as economic uncertainty. Mr Tong says these updates align with the government's move towards a system that better manages disclosures from registered charities. This new regime, as you know, aims to strike a balance between the need for transparency and accountability and the need to minimise administrative burden on charities. There are still safeguards to help members of the public make informed decisions about their donations. Charities are itself encouraged to put in place adequate processes and internal controls to ensure compliance with the disclosure regime when conducting public fundraising appeals.